Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we have five tarot decks before us and the question we're asking is, what do I need to do right now in order to be in alignment with my highest good? Alternatively, what is it that I can do right now that will be in alignment with my soul purpose? So go ahead and choose a deck that resonates with you. Uh, it is one, two, three, four, five. And as usual, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box below. So for those of you who've chosen the very first deck here, the question we are asking today is, what do I need to do to align myself to my highest good? What do I need to do today to be in the path of my highest good? What I see and what I'm feeling here is that you have several blockages in your life at the moment, okay? And the blockages are as a result of you standing steadfast by another, uh, giving up what is your own soul truth in for the cause of another. And what the combination of cards here tell me is that you need to stop blindly giving up your will uh, and following another, you know, you might you might be following another because you love them, and you might be following another because you believe in them, but what oh, because you're loyal to them. But what I'm seeing here is that your loyalty is unwarranted. It's you don't need to do this anymore because what's happening in the process is that you're losing yourself and that you are actually um, blindly being drawn in a direction that is not your own. So. In order to heal yourself, what is it that you need to do right now? Well, I would say that you need to feed yourself. You need to balance your chakras. You need to go and, and do some meditations or some healing for yourself, which allows you to balance your chakras. Now, you can go online and find uh, hundreds of, of not thousands of meditations which help you balance, balance your chakras or help you uh, do some repair or recalibration. Now, what I'm seeing or what I'm hearing here is that you feel depleted and you feel drawn out, uh, that you've lost a part of yourself and that you need to find this part of yourself back. And you might have done this in, in love. You know, it might, it might be that you're standing steadfast here. Um, you are loyal, but you're standing steadfast for love. And this is love that's not actually been actualized. And it's actually, uh, it's love that has another aspect to it. So it's this love that you believe in and you're trying to keep a, a clear function about yourself. You are intuiting that this love has a higher meaning. And uh, what, what you are unaware of is that it has more than just this higher meaning. It has an aspect to it which is not pleasant, which is actually taking you off your balance. You need to actually go back and ground yourself here. Um, the, the energy that you have is too fiery and it's not controlled. And you need to go back and ground yourself. And in that process, uh, bring all your ch chakras into balance. Now, if you don't believe in chakras, you don't know what that is. Uh, what I'm asking you to do here is basically to ground yourself and make sure that everything that you do, that you're doing it because you want to do it and not because you feel drawn to do it because you need to, because of a divine connection or because of telepathic information or because someone else asks you to do it and you think therefore it's the best thing for you. What you need to do is go back and feel what it is that you really need to be doing for yourself and feel what it is that you do um, inside of you. So if you've taken a decision to go somewhere with someone, are you feeling 100% okay with it in all of these chakras, in all areas of your body? Are you feeling 100% with it? If you're not, then just say no. Because what I'm seeing here is that you've been going along with someone for a while now. Uh, you've been going along with something that is not really, it doesn't belong to you and it's blocking you. It's not really helping you um, go ahead. But in fact, you think it's the key to something, but it's actually not. And you think it's going to bring you abundance and you, you think it's going to bring you joy, but it's actually not. And you're loyal to it, but it's it's not, this loyalty is not serving you. And what you really need to be doing right now is going back and tapping into your spiritual truth. Now, if you um, 
are not into, as I said, a chakra stuff and any new age thing, and you're not into alternative healing, etc. What you what what they're asking you to do is go back in and pray. Okay, pray for this um, for this balance that you need in your life. Pray for uh, guidance and and have faith in what is what you know to be the truth and nothing else okay uh, the other thing that you ask to do here is allow the um allow the um the change that needs to take place to actually come in and take place and don't be so invested in this love because this love has it has the face of love but it's um or it rather you think it's love but it it's actually the face of the beast and it's not something that serves you uh, you are um, obedient to it you are subservient to it uh, but in fact, what you need to be doing is standing in your truth and standing firm and ensuring that you are balanced and um, actually accessing the truth of the universe and not uh, not this truth here, which is what is not true. Yeah, this is what is your shadow aspect. Uh, it's, it's not really true. This is you need to be accessing this truth here. Uh, so that you are in connection with the divine. So you may be feeling that you're having telepathic communication with somebody, or you may be uh, very much into your intuition at the moment and trying to follow your intuition, but you need to differentiate between um, what is your intuition and, and what is not. Um, you you uh, basically need to be discerning what is uh, of truth and what is not. And you may be feeling weary right now, as I mentioned earlier, you may be feeling a little bit drained, um, a bit depleted is the word I've gotten, but uh, there is a fire that courses through you, which is strong enough to be able to help you heal and help you come out of the situation. And what you really just need to do is stop following the lead of others, but follow your own. So open your eyes here and dis disconnect this loyalty that you have, because this loyalty that you have is leading you in a direction that is not in accordance with your with your soul and with your highest good okay so um yeah let me know how that works out for you and thank you very much for those of you who've chosen this first deck here and i'm moving on to the next set the deck of cards so for those of you who've chosen this deck of cards here i'm going to be asking the question what is it that you need to do now that is in accordance with your highest good what is it that you need to do now that is in accordance with your highest good Okay, so what I see here is that there has been a situation which has been heavily taxing to you and that has caused you much um, much anxiety. It's caused you much, um, it's, it's made you tired. So it's almost as if you've been working really hard, doing a lot of things and it's exhausted you and you're almost at the end of your tether year. But I feel like you've also lost something in the process, like you may have lost something material or you may have lost money or you may not have been able to save as much as you wanted to and you may be feeling a little bit unstable and unbalanced as a result of that the other thing i'm feeling here is that um as a result of your of your um your your tiredness um uh, your exhaustion you may be feeling a little bit apathetic you or um, not really in tune with yourself or what it is that brings you value in your life so it might be that you've lost value in terms of something material or it might be that you're not feeling the value that you have usually in your life uh this is very much um uh, second chakra stuff this is very much um you needing to uh heal your second chakra and work with your solar plexus so your third chakra so what i'm hearing and what i'm seeing right now is that um, take a bit of time, take a minimum of three days to recover from the exhaustion that you feel. Uh, lighten your load. Uh, try to let go of as many responsibilities as you can at this moment. And then work on um, your solar plexus. You know, give yourself as much um, help that you need um, in terms of uh, reviving and rejuvenating your solar plexus. So you might be drawn to the color orange um and or or like a yellowish a yellow actually more than an orange uh so if you're drawn to a yellow uh, try to wear yellow cloth or 
try to surround yourself with something yellow. I'm also hearing orange. So I, I guess, it, well, this is um, has to do with both chakras. And I'm out. I, and what I'm hearing that you need to do is uh, go back into yourself, surround yourself with the yellows and oranges and help uh, rejuvenate that solar plexus of yours. Help to uh, reignite it, help to reignite the fire in you. And once you've done that by also lightening the load that you have in your life and getting more rest, getting more sleep, uh, I think something like orange juice might also be of benefit to you right now. You need to build up your immune system right now. You need to take steps to build your immune system, not just orange juice, but um, other, other things as well. Pomegranates will be of help to you now. Um, yeah, many citrus fruits will be of uh of help to you now so partake in citrus fruits get as much rest as you can um, drink as much fluids as you can there's an element of dehydration here as well and um, when you've done that then go back and ask yourself what it is that you've lost in your in your second uh, chakra um, you know why is it that you're feeling apathetic what is it where is it that you've lost your motivation where is it that you feel uh, lacking in value and how is it that you can rectify that and I feel that the only way you can do that is actually if you begin by um, working on yourself strengthening your immune system sleeping a lot more than you've been sleeping giving yourself the rest that you need and then uh, it's it's very much diet controlled as well so um, ensure that your diet is balanced diet and um, that you're getting as much um, vitamin C and uh, cit citrus fruits. Um, I'm hearing also other vitamins that you are lacking. So uh, just take a look at that. And um, it may just be a, a, a temporary deficiency that you have, not a long-term deficiency or not something that you need to be very concerned about. I'm hearing also here that you need to... Uh, control your diet here yeah? the more processed foods you're eating the more fast foods you're eating the less prana or the less chi that you have in your body uh you're lacking life force here okay and that's all linked to your uh solar plexus so um try to eat foods which are fresh and which have life force in it stay away from processed foods at this moment uh even if you're feeling rushed i feel this is an energy of being really rushed and really pushed and so um, just take a break from it all. Try to lighten your load, as I've said. And then when you have done that, then go back here and see where it is that you've lost your motivation and see what it is that you can do to be able to reignite that and uh, really feel uh, interested again in uh, in what it, in, in your passions, you know, to feel as passionate as you felt before and uh, step away from all that depletes you at this moment, okay? So that is my... Uh, interpretation of these cards for you for those of you who've chosen the second deck for those of you who've chosen the third deck here the question we're asking is what is it that I need to do to be in alignment with my highest good at this moment what is it that I need to do to be in alignment with my highest good at this moment So here what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing as well, is that you may be concerned about another. You may be concerned about the suffering that another is undergoing. And I'm also hearing that this is causing you anguish and this is causing you uh, di some difficulty or some pain at the moment. The, the, the advice I'm getting for you, though, is that what you need to do is um, take some time out to have some compassion uh, for yourself. Take some time out to serve others. Take some time out to give to others this but this does come from a space of not needing to do uh because of duty but wanting to do from a space of love pure love love that's radiating from you take some time if, if you don't have anyone in your life and there's nobody that needs you right now and you just you know living by yourself and doing your thing and you, you can't think of anyone who you could be of assistance to right now then spend a bit of time meditating and sending love and, and prayer out into the world to help those that need your help. So um, the focus here, what, what do you need to do to be uh, to help you? Well, take a moment to focus on you because there is a situation where you need to um, focus on you in terms of your healing and your well-being. And I feel that part of you may be running away from yourself. So you may think that, you know, you, you think about yourself all the time and you're self-interested in 
you know, you may you may think that you are quite a self-interested person, but what I'm hearing is that you actually haven't been giving yourself the need, uh, uh, the care that you need. You haven't been able to give yourself the the love that you actually desire and that you need. You haven't been able to replenish yourself in the way that you need to and the way to do that is with a great deal of compassion and non-judgment so take time out to give yourself what it is that you need right now take some time out to recognize firstly what it is that you need and then to give yourself that and one of the ways in which you can give yourself that is by paying attention to who you are but if you're finding it hard to give yourself what you need then go out and find a charity where you can volunteer at or find somebody that you could assist you know find anyone that you can assist with anything that you can do and go go ahead and 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 give give with an open heart and i'm i'm hearing that what you'll gain from that is a, a great deal of of um of peace and harmony within yourself and you'll be better able to recognize what it is that you need and you'll be better able to give to yourself what you need the other thing i'm hearing here is that Part of what you need is recognition from others. Part of what you need is actually uh, being uh, seen in the eyes of another or others to be successful, to be uh, victorious, to have succeeded, to have uh, managed your life well. And so what I'm hearing is that um, if you can't get that from your family, if you're not getting that from your friends, if you're not getting that from your professors or from your from your employer or from whoever you you need this uh, affirmation from, then go ahead and give it to yourself. Recognize where is it that you have been victorious, where it is that you have won, where it is that you have made a contribution and, and give yourself those honors, give yourself that recognition that you need because waiting on another to give it to you is not going to happen. So this is this reading is very much about what is it that you can give others um, and what is it that you can give yourself, especially what it is that you can give yourself. Because right now you need to be able to look at yourself with compassion and with love and give and patience and just really heal the wounds that you have from the past and affirm yourself in this process because you're not going to necessarily receive this affirmation from another. You're not necessarily going to uh, be affirmed for how far you've come, how much of work you've done on yourself already. So go ahead and give this uh, to yourself in the meantime, okay? And this is really important. So the key words here are compassion, taking time out for yourself, healing yourself, and recognition for all that you've done and how far you've come until now okay so that is it for those of you who've chosen uh, this particular deck here so for those of you who've chosen the fourth deck here what is it that i need to do that's in my highest good right now what is it that i need to do that is in my highest good what is it that i need to do that is in alignment with my soul purpose. So for those of you who've chosen this one, what I'm hearing is that you need to take time out to give yourself love. It's similar to the last um, uh, um, option here that was chosen. But this is different. This is a, a degree of tenderness that's needed, a degree, a degree of um, innocence that's needed to be restored in your life. And... Um, you know, I, I've been speaking in the other decks about chakras and what chakra to work with. And in this one, I'm getting an overwhelming feeling that you need to work on your heart chakra and that you need to be able to um, to not open your heart chakra because I feel that your heart, your heart chakra is open, but rather to heal though that aspect of yourself that's been hurt. You know, the, the sense that I'm getting here is that you are very hurt and you're very innocent, you're very tender um and you've been hurt quite deeply and what you really need to do here is is work on yourself i'm hearing that some of you may have chosen this for someone else like their daughter or their their friend or their um yeah like an adult daughter you know you may be choosing this option for somebody else and you're asking what is it that i need to do for them and what i'm hearing here is that you need to treat if 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 for those of you who are choosing this for somebody else, who've chosen this for somebody else, you need to treat them with um, kid gloves. 
You need to be able to be very kind to them right now. You need to be able to be really soft with them. You, they are not going to be able to handle any harsh words or any abruptness or any, any bluntness. You need to be very, very kind with them. And for those of you who've chosen this for yourself, well, take a lot of time just to be by yourself. Take a lot of time to separate yourself from the media, to separate yourself from any outside influences which may be a little bit abrupt, which may be not refined enough for you. Because what you need right now is to simply be there for you. You need to be there for you. You need to take care of you. You, you are in a very vulnerable space right now. Not because of something that happened last week or last month, but this is something might, that might have happened a long time ago. And you are in a very vulnerable space and you need to give yourself the time that you need to recover from this. This is not a, a long state, you know, that you'll be in. This is a temporary state, but I feel it'll last the next two to three weeks from the time at which you watch this reading. Things that stimulate the senses, music, uh, painting, color, flowers, smelling beautiful things, being outdoors if you can. Take time to stimulate your senses. Take time to greet your senses as almost as if your senses have been quietened down and you need to activate it again and smell something. Smell the roses quite literally. Take time to actually give yourself what it is that you need. And if you train your senses, if you decide, okay, today I'm going to work with my with my nose and, and, my, and my sense of smell and I'm going to smell different things. I'm going to give myself the delight of smelling. I'm going to celebrate my sense of smell. And you decide to smell different things and it's an explosion of, of sensuality. I'm hearing that um, tenderness and sensuality and all that is sensuous is actually what is your answer right now. So if it means that you're taking a bath with rose petals or if it means that you are burning uh, etheric oils or if, you, if it means that you're simply buying flowers for yourself or going to a flower shop and just smelling the flowers or if it means if it means that you're just listening to beautiful music gets your soul to sparkle you need that right now you need to feed yourself and feed your senses because that is what you need at this moment to be able to get to that point where you are in alignment with your higher self the other thing is that heal your heart take time to heal your heart to um, to do whatever it is that you need to do to be tender to yourself and to your heart. And your heart chakra is really full right now. It's really um, overloaded. And I'm hearing that just slowly release that, slowly let go, slowly activate your heart again, slowly bring yourself to life again because you've just been too overloaded with all of it, that all of what you've experienced recently. And slow down, experience, smell, taste, do all those things that activate your senses and breathe. Okay, so that's your message for those of you who've chosen uh, this deck here. And I'm uh, moving on to the last deck. So for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking today is, what is it that I need to know? What is it that I need to do to align myself with my higher spirit? What is it that I need to do to align myself with my higher spirit? So here I'm hearing that you just need to put your sword down, put your knife down, stop you don't need to defend yourself any longer. Stop. Simply stop. Simply stop and rest. Take time to laugh. Take time to smile. Take time to be alone with yourself. You are not under threat. You are not in a situation where you need to fear anything. You need to simply listen. Because when you listen, when you quieten yourself and listen then you recognize that all that you've been fearing is unreal, 
that all you've been fearing is simply your, your mind running wild. It isn't true. You don't need to be defensive. You don't need to fight any longer. You need to slow down and stop and simply be with yourself. And when you can simply be with yourself in a quiet way, when you can recognize that it's okay to simply be, this is when the joy can flow again. This is when you will be in alignment with your higher self because you simply need to let all that is to be. And you don't need to work on it anymore. There's nothing more that you need to do in this situation. Take a step back. Or rather, just simply put your knife down. Put your sword down. Stop. And listen. And be still with yourself. And you will find that all the wisdom that you need will flow to you. You are a very intuitive person. And... The universe or the spirits are simply waiting for you to slow down, to stop, and so that they can speak to you and you will hear them. They have been speaking to you and you've been too busy fighting, too busy forging your way ahead, cutting through things to be able to actually listen to what is being told to you. When you slow down and hear what it is that they need to say to you, you will have the answer that you are looking for. And that is your answer for those of you who've chosen this particular deck here. So I'd like to say thank you to all of those who've come by today um, to, to come and listen to this. And I'd like to say thank you also to all my subscribers and all of you who've been so loyal uh, to me and um, who enjoy these um, readings. That's great. I'm glad that they are that you come forth and that you enjoy this and that it can help you in some way. That's really great. And thanks once again for passing by. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.